I want to thank all of you for joining us as we celebrate 100 years of agricultural economics here at Mississippi State University. You know, when I travel around the state and around the country and I talk about what Mississippi State University has meant to me in my life and helping to prepare me as a young student to go off into the world, I talk about how this university nurtured me and guided me, but it was the administrators, it was the faculty and staff and fellow students within the Department of Agricultural Economics. That was my university that helped prepare me for a career in Washington, a uh, career in academics, a career in extension service, and to be back here at Mississippi State University. So I'm very proud to be able to say congratulations to the Department of Agricultural Economics for all the great things that you've done, and not only influencing my life, but so many thousands of students who've gone through the halls of the department who've been influenced by this tremendous department. It's had a tremendous impact on our state and our state agricultural economy. So again, I want to say thank you for helping us celebrate, and to the Department of Agricultural Economics, congratulations on 100 years of excellence. Agricultural economics is a very important science because it, it can be applied in so many areas. You can use, it's basically a decision science. It tells you uh, how to make financial decisions, how to make economic decisions, and if you know how to make those decisions in economics, you can use those same principles in other fields of life. Agricultural economics started out helping farmers to do financial planning for their farm. Uh, farm management, budgeting, expenses, receipts, economics would help direct you to the most profitable combination to have. I think the focus was, of the department was pretty much set, uh, even prior to Dr. Savelle's time in the late 40s and early 50s. Uh, for lack of a better description, I would call it applied economics. One of the, uh, the questions you might have is, how did we last 100 years? Well, I believe that we bring value to the academic enterprise. I think that this department, as an applied economics department, brings value to not only the academic enterprise, which is this university, but we bring value to the state of Mississippi, and we do that through our uh, economic analysis of many, many different situations. Lots of things that people now who are successful farmers and business people in the field of agriculture and outside, uh, things that they think they know for granted now came out of the early work of agricultural economics. The department for forever, it seems like, has developed annual crop budgets for, for different crops. Uh, this is important because for producers, it aids them in planning what crops they will plant. It aids um, uh, lending agencies and it get, helps them in evaluating a farmer's application for a loan. It was really providing service to the clients of Mississippi, performing those analyses that helps our producers make sound economic decisions about uh, what to invest in. Uh, should they go into soybean production or corn production? Forestry and then catfish and, and, and row crops and we had some re basic research going on in all of those areas. The only way to develop a use value approach for farmland was to use the production budgets that we had already been in the process of developing. They were well received by the producers and they must be worthwhile because they're still being produced in almost the same format today. One reason that I think Mississippi is, is, is the tops, the number one catfish uh, producer in the nation is the work that uh, the people in that area did and they worked with the industry to help it develop. 
Things that uh, we find out in Mississippi apply in the Central Valley in California oftentimes and are useful. And some, many of the things that we did were used uh, more perhaps in other regions than locally. But they all had a, uh, the, the objective was to uh, apply economics to solving the problems of agriculture. The first computer on this campus was I'm talking about the first, the very first, was purchased by the Department of Agricultural Economics. And Dr. Uh, Thomas Trammell and Dr. Fred Davis took it out of the box and put it together. So our department has always been more or less pretty advanced in terms of computer technology. We've had faculty members who have influenced the United States Farm Bill uh, probably as much as any faculty members in the United States. Part of that is because of our senators and how heavily they were represented on the Ag Committees. But, but again, they come to us because we deliver value. And the value we deliver is good, solid economic analysis. The tradition of this department is very much based on its people. Uh, these include administrators, faculty, staff, uh, students, uh, alumni, and associated clientele. I think we were second to none for our size in terms of the quality and the competence of our faculty and staff. And of course, any, anything that was accomplished, they did. Uh, your department head, if you don't have a good faculty and staff capable, you don't, you don't gain very much. One of the best things I think in the department uh, long term has been the collegiality amongst the department. There was always a, uh, an air of, of, of togetherness, inclusiveness. Uh, as I became uh, more familiar with other departments across our sister universities, I, I grew to value that collegiality more and more. We had some professors, I recall, who asked fellow professors, sit in on my class and tell me how I'm doing it. Particularly those who were regarded as really good teachers, they were invited into other classes sometimes. That, I wouldn't say that happened every day, but it happened often enough that people began to think about the quality of what they were doing in the classroom. John Lee had the, had the philosophy that you go out and you get the best faculty you can and you keep them as long as you can and if they leave or go somewhere else then you reload as quick as you can and that's been my motto. And I, and I think that John Lee set the tone for that and I believe whoever comes after me, that's kind of our mantra now and I think that will continue. I always felt that if you had faculty that uh, nobody else was trying to hire away from you, um, you need to work harder on that, okay? You didn't want to lose them, but you still, you want them to be good enough that other people would like to have them. So I would say the people that were able to hire, as well as the people who work with them, who are already here, and that, that good uh, environment of working together in a faculty that was collegial and got things done and made a lot of progress. And my, my personal success, I felt, was being able to be associated with a group of people like that. I don't think anybody recognizes just how well our students have performed over the years, how, how the successes they've had. And, and you certainly couldn't name all of the outstanding students. And it wouldn't be good to just name a few. <laughs> in prep for this, I started trying to think of some names, and you got a lot of high-profile names and, and people that you, you know that's gonna obviously step forward. Mark Keenum was one of my first graduate students. I, was on, I wasn't his major advisor, but I was on his advisory uh, committee, and, he, uh, and I'm always, always fond to point out that he's either forgiven me or forgotten the things I did to him. Wayne Boutwell, David Graves, and of course, uh, President Keenum have all been members of the staff of the 
Senator Cochran at one some point in time, and they were graduates of the department. Phil Pepper was a state economist. I think he may have already been state economist when I was department head. Darren Webb uh, was a graduate of our department. He's presently the state economist, so you see his name in the paper, or see him on TV periodically, so his name, you know, kind of jumps forward. We have Prate Montgomery with the Farm Bureau, Glenn McCullough, certainly one of them who was on the board for the TVA, the mayor of Tupelo. Gary Blair, for example, with the Federal Land Bank in, in Southern Mississippi, later became uh, MSU Alumni Association president. Jeremy Jack is one of our uh, leading farmers here in Mississippi. He graduated back in 2005 and in with, an under with a BS degree and in 2006 with a Master of Ag degree. He's one of our very innovative farmers here in Mississippi. Phnom Sawana was one of the best ones that, were, that came through here. And of course, probably the most uh, well-known of those would be Rafael Calais, the Honduran student that, that later wound up being president of his country. We were richer and better off for, the, for having these international students here. You're talking about outstanding alumni. I think you can't ignore that. I just, you know, there were times when we graduated 25 to 50 students a year, and for the most part, they all went out in, in productive jobs. People ask me, what did I, did I do any good at Mississippi State? And I say, the only thing I felt like I really contributed was we hired some very good people to work with the very good people already here. And they worked together. I think just surviving was pretty much an accomplishment. It's awesome to think that from 53 to 2013, that's 60 years of the 100 year span. Hopefully, I've had some influence on a lot of former students. I would certainly take pride in that. I don't know of any program anywhere that trains students better to deal with the problems that one might encounter. But it, it is a good field, and I hope it'll continue to be a good field as we go through the future. I think that the department is in pretty good hands today in leadership and faculty. And I think they'll continue to grow and, and uh, produce students that are, that are sought by other institutions and other businesses. I think we're in a much better place than we were 100 years ago. We have 2013 classrooms, 2013 technology. And uh, I want to wish the department uh, uh, a happy anniversary and hope that the next hundred years is profitable and, and productive as this last hundred years has been. I think it's wonderful that on the hundredth anniversary of agricultural economics at Mississippi State, we're able to stop and look back at successes, look ahead to the future opportunities and say, happy anniversary, Mississippi State Ag Econ. On behalf of Mississippi State University Extension, I want to wish the Department of Agricultural Economics a very happy 100th anniversary. On behalf of the Division of Agriculture, Forestry, and Veterinary Medicine, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Agricultural Economics Department on the successful 100 years that you've had in the past in your, in your teaching, research, and extension programs. Keep up the great work that you do. The legacy of the faculty in the form of their alumni and their students speak for itself and uh, I'm just so excited about the next 100 years and what is likely to unfold from this outstanding department. Congratulations. Again, congratulations to the Department of Agricultural Economics for 100 years of service to our great state of Mississippi and to the nation. <laughs>